Okay, so let's now look at how to get our GitHub, uh, the, the repository. So the last step that we performed, we accepted the invitation to the assignment and that caused the GitHub uh, repository to be created that contains our code. So now what I'm gonna show you how to do is to uh, start this in Android Studio. So we've got Android Studio installed. We have the code that we're about to start working on on GitHub. And what we need to do is to tell Android to import that as a project, and we'll see what happens when, when, when we do that. Okay, so I've started Android Studio. This is sort of like the start screen that you get this splash screen, and we're gonna use this. Um, and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back to uh, github.com. Uh, this is where I cloned, uh, or I accepted the invitation, and now I have this copy of the repository. Now this is something that people do wrong every single semester, and so I'm gonna try to be really, really careful here. Um, when you click on this code button, there, is this, there are two options down here, download zip and open with GitHub desktop, and then there's this option to uh, get a link, okay? Do not download the zip or open this with GitHub desktop. Those are wrong. They will not set up the project properly and you will not be able to submit things, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna come over here to this clone dialog. I'm gonna click the HTTPS link, okay? I'm gonna hit copy. All right, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, then I'm gonna go over to uh, Android Studio and I'm gonna say, get from version control, okay? It's gonna ask me for a URL and I'm gonna give it this URL and it's gonna choose a location on my computer, this directory, and this is fine. Uh, it doesn't really, you know, you can decide where you want this to go. Um, you can see, however, that right now I have no GitHub accounts set up. Uh, so when I try to download this, it's not going to work. Um, and so what I need to do here is I actually need to go over to, uh, I need to get my GitHub credentials, which I'm going to do here. Uh, let's see, I'll hit copy password. Uh, that's not going to be a problem because you guys won't see this, I don't think. Uh, I do need to type my password properly though. Nope. All right, so I've got that. Uh, my login is gchallenge, the password is this. I hit login, see if that works. Okay, I'm good. Now I've got my repository URL set up uh, and I should be able to hit clone, okay? And so you'll see it's gonna uh, clone the project and then immediately it's gonna open it up um, and some stuff's gonna start to happen. So if you see down here on, on the right, there's a couple of, uh, of things that get done initially. Uh, when the project is cloned. And you, and you just wanna kinda hang out here and let this finish. It's a little confusing because the progress bar is like way over down there buried on the right. Uh, but just, you can start to poke around if you want to. Um, but you know, uh, don't expect much to work until uh, those processes finish. You can see there's some things going on. What's happening right now? Uh, so our, your MP builds on top of some other libraries. There's some code that uh, Android Studio has to download from the internet. If you have a slow connection, this might take a few more minutes than it did for me, but okay, now we're good. Um, okay, so let's just look at what's happened here. Uh, so if I go over here now, uh, Android Studio has a couple of different ways of viewing the project. Um, it, for some reason, likes to use this Android view. Um, I typically prefer the project view, so I will typically go over there and change that. This shows you a view that's more, um, more determined by where the files are in the directory. So these are all the different files that are part of this project. Um, we're gonna go through what a bunch of these are together. Uh, maybe not all of them, because uh, there's quite a few, but we're certainly gonna walk you through some of the more important files that you need to understand uh, in order to complete this checkpoint. And then as we go forward, you'll learn a little bit more uh, as we go along, okay? Uh, but what you can see in here, so all the code for your app resides in this app directory. Uh, there's both a main and a source directory, sorry, main and a test. The test directory has the test suites. The source, uh, the main directory has your code. And again, we'll go through these in a minute. Over up here, uh, what you should see are these several different, these are known as uh, run configurations. And these are, we, we've sort of pre-installed these for you and they're set up to do different things. Um, so for example, there's a run configuration called grade. Uh, let's see what happens if we try that. So if I choose that and I hit this play button over here, um, it's gonna fail. And the reason is 
there's this step that we have to uh, complete in order to identify ourselves. So let's actually go ahead and do that because that's kind of a nice uh, way to show you how to get started. In, and this is important because if you're in the Android view, you're not going to see this file, right? So if I go back to the Android view, I don't see this file. If I go into the project view, I see a file called id.txt. This is how you identify yourself to us, okay? Um, when you go to the page, uh, so if I go to my, uh, let's go up here. Um, well, I haven't published this yet, so I'm going to use uh, do, 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 and if you set up. Um, and let's just go to the MP0 page. Um, there is an ID here, uh, right here, that says this is your MP ID. Okay, this is what we need to copy into this file, right? So if I go in here and I copy this, okay, now if I hit grade, uh, now things are going to start to happen. So what do we do during grading? We'll talk about this more in a later thing, but I just wanted to kind of get you to the point where you can see something happening, right? So when we grade your code, we run some tests. We also run check style. Um, you can see down here, this is a description that's showing you, Android show, Studio is showing you all these different tasks, all these different things that are being done to your code as part of the grading process. Um, when this completes, what we're gonna discover is that we haven't earned any points yet. And of course, the reason is you haven't done any work, right? So there are check style problems and none of the test cases have passed. Um, once you start to work on the MP, you'll start to get some points, but this is a, a tool that you're going to use. Frequently though, what you actually are gonna to wanna to do is actually run the test suites. So let's just make sure those run as well. Um, I'm gonna run the test suites. You're gonna see, um, and this will give you a little bit more information about exactly what's going on as uh, the test suites run. And so as we go through the rest of the write-up, we'll talk a little bit more about exactly what we're doing with these test suites and what they expect and what you have to do on the MP. Um, but once you're at this point where you can run the grader and you can run the test suites, you've inserted your ID into, um, into Android Studio, uh, you're, you're in good shape to move on and continue with, uh, with the rest of the, uh, rest of the assignment.